Hello guys, this YouTube video is all about the two Google Sheets that I am launching. Uh, we're gonna go thoroughly through them um, and we can talk a bit about how they perform, how they work and how you can actually use them and uh, either make money by having a better decisions while betting or using them and use them in your algorithms, uh, make your own predictions, um, make your own methods. I know many of you have uh, already done it, many of you are successful. Um, so let's go, uh, let's go through them. So here is the first uh, Google Sheet, as you can see. What it does is that it scrapes um, Bet Explorer, you can see it here. Pet Explorer, this is how the site is called. And it finds um, match by match, it goes through every page and um, it scrapes some stats. Then those stats are somehow transformed, uh, not into advanced stats, I, I could say, but I mean into combined stats. So uh, we, we'll go through it. <clears throat> you see here on the first. Um, from A to G columns, uh, we have like the regular match info. So whatever is scraped, uh, it's laid down here. So you can see that first we have the date, we have the time that the match is, is playing or, it, uh, or played in the past. Then we have the country. By the time that this was scraped, this is what it says here. So um, here it is the league. We have the sport if it's hockey, baseball, basketball, or soccer, just those four sports. Uh, here is the, the home team, and the home team name and the away team name. Here is the score at the time that it was scraped. Maybe it's, the match is finished, maybe it's not. Uh, and then here we start, we start with the stats. So what, what do those stats mean and how you can use them? Um, so it says that this is the result uh, percentage combined total matches. What does this mean? It means that we go to the home team uh, in the table <clears throat> uh, and we we find how what what's the winning percentage of the home team. Then we go into the away team. We find the losing percentage in all the matches that have been total matches or so in all the matches that have played up to that time, and we made the average of those two. So that means that the home team is winning, like let's say, 50% or 60, or it doesn't matter. Then the away team is losing uh, by let's say 35%. So if we combine those and divide them to two, so if we find the average of those two, this is the number that we get: 46%. So the <clears throat> the number that we're getting, so the probability that it gets for the team, for the, for the home team to win, is like 46%. So the combined probability of those two teams for this match uh, to, to end up as a home team to win, as a home win, uh, it is 46%. The same thing for the away team. So how many, what, what is the percentage of the away team to win if you compare it uh, with the home team to win. So we get 54%. So that result tells us that um, it is an even match, but the away team has like a slightly uh, bigger probability of winning. <clears throat> so if we go to the last four matches, we do the same thing, we get the form of the teams. So that means you can see here that the form is 75% for the home team to win and 25% for the away team. Uh, so that means that we have equal teams, but for the at the last four matches, the home team performs much better. If we just use those two, we can have <clears throat> a better prediction, um, like a calculated prediction. We just most of the people just follow this number, but this is a much better number. So. If you just use the numbers and put them into your um, in, in, as features into any algorithm, it can find the best 
um, it, it can give factors to every feature and it can give you best probability according to experience, according to training. But then we don't only have that. You can see here that we have the same thing, but um, when the home team plays at home and when the away team plays away. So this is for the total matches up to this state, but when the away team play, plays away and when the home team plays at home. <clears throat> so we see that um, um, we have 55% probability. So it's equal teams, but a little better, the home team. While at the beginning before, we had equal teams, but the away team was a bit better. Uh, so I guess that this is somehow more accurate than the previous one. Um, so if we combine that thing over here plus the 75%, we see that the home team is much better. And you can see that the final score for that match was 5-3. Was if we just use that, we wouldn't be accurate. But now we have that more accurate um, stats, more accurate numbers. And we see that in reality, we're closer to the, to the final result. And then <clears throat> here we have the same thing. So it's home and away matches only, uh, but this is the form of those. So you see that it's 62% and 38%. Uh, so if you use all those four numbers, um, certainly your prediction will be much better. But then you can also, if you go a bit further, you see that we've done the same thing, but with goals. So how many goals the first the home team scores uh, in all the matches? Um, of course, divided to the number of the matches. Uh, so then how many teams the away teams um, receives in every match? Because this is the average of this number. So this uh, implies the how many goals on average we will uh, the, the home team will score. So it's a combined score differential in reality. And the same thing for the away team. So here this number. Uh, comes from how many goals the away team scores and how many goals the home team receives. So we get this number. So if we compare those numbers, we see that the away team <coughs> uh, is supposed to score a bit more than the home team. <coughs> uh, but then we go, we do the same thing for the last four matches, um, and we see that the home team is a bit better. And then we do the same thing for home and away matches. And then for the last four home and away matches. Um, and then, so before that it was like winning percentages. Uh, and here we have, we can say, uh, home uh, and away goal averages. Um, so here we get um, the average projected score difference. So if we go on the first, um, two columns, you see that 3.21 minus 3.85 we get something like minus 64, let's say. <clears throat> uh, so it's the goal difference between those two numbers. So if we were based on this, those two numbers, our decision would be that the away team will win by 0 0.6 goals. Uh, if we check the last four matches, we see that it's uh, the home team to win by 0.26 goals and if we do the same for all those uh, eight numbers uh, we get the average of minus 0.22 so that means <clears throat> that the win percentage uh, not the win percentage that we expect for the away team to win by 0.22 goals uh, and then we do the same thing for the, the total score of the matches so this is like the the total the sum of those two numbers so this week by, by judging those numbers we can um, somehow predict what the total score of the match will be and in reality it was like it was like five five three the score you can see it here so it was eight goals. So this number is around eight goals. You can see that. <clears throat> and then in order to check this match, you can just click here 
see, go to Bed Explorer and check what were the goals, what were the odds, what are the odds for, for this match. Uh, you can check the matches played, the wins, like the form over here. So you can just come here and, and check everything that you need to do. Either you can verify the numbers that I got or you can um, you can just take those numbers and take them one step further. But for you to know, I mean, it's not something that uh, it will... It's not like any serious algorithm between behind those numbers. It just that you have for every match um, a lot of calculations. So this can be used and save you a lot of time or it can be used for from those of you that it's I know the hardest part of this algo thing is like scraping um, so here you get the numbers you get the numbers you get clean numbers um, so you can use them or you can just transform those and use them afterwards so now if we go a bit further down uh, you see that we have four sports, hockey, baseball, soccer, and basketball. Uh, see here that you get the score for, it was 21st, it was yesterday, and then we start from the 22nd, and then, so the matches are in order. Uh, and you can, this is a, um, a filter, so if you come here and you just pick the day that you're interested, so let's say you clean this and you check only today's matches. You see that here you have only today's matches. So those are played. And then we're looking at those one over here at now. So for the next match, for example, you see that uh, in Armenian Premier League, Alaska against Punic, Yerevan. So it seems that um, it's going to be an equal game. Uh, according to the total matches but then if we check uh, the last matches you see that it's 50 percent last four matches 50 percent uh, for the draw and then if we take a bit here you see here that is um, according to home and away matches all the matches is between home team to win and uh, and draw and then if we check the home and away matches, the form, it's between home team and draw. But mostly draw. So maybe the draw here is a good, um, is a good um, decision to be taken. Uh, but you need to combine those numbers with um, the goals numbers, of course. So if you see here they're not going to be scored many goals into the match probably 0 0 or 1 1 or whatever yes and i think this match is played right now so let's see what is the result is it like a drawer yeah it was one two uh yes But this is how it is, this is how you can use it. Um, you can always come back here and clear all the filters. Okay. So now let's go into the second Google Sheet that I have, which is more advanced uh, Google Sheet as you can see over here. So we have the same data at the beginning, like date, time, country, um, and then which league it is. This is only for football, I think, yes. Um, so it tells you the names and here is the pick that is coming after my personal algorithms the ones that i use to bet um, so it comes with a pick uh, it, it says which sport it is so it, this is also basketball uh, and then it also says um, the probability the true probability of this outcome uh, to to be verified uh, is this one 62% 61% so if you go into uh, your bookmaker um, and you just find wh which match is afterwards let's say Argentina against Saudi Arabia um, then the over point to the, the over 2.5 um, is over 1.55 
then you can easily use this pick um, into my FS or UBM method that I use. Yeah. It doesn't matter which pick you make and how many picks of those you choose. In the end, after many picks, you will end up having 62% uh, as a hit rate. Um, and the average odds will be uh, 1.63. So those two numbers will be verified because they've been like for the last one and a half, two years. Those numbers are being verified and verified. There's always can be a variance, like you can still have 10 losses or you can still have uh, 50 games that it will be 30%, but then it will recover. You will have like 10 wins in a row. Um, in the end, this 62% will be verified. <clears throat> um, so that's it for now. If uh, this is a bit more advanced, uh, you need to learn the, um, those two methods. Don't just take those picks and use them because they're not value bets. They can be value bets, but it's not like it, it will take time to for them to give you profit. Those are only should only be used with FS or UB method. Uh, and then you can always go into the link over here and check um, check the result, check the numbers again use them in as you wish. Um, so good luck, see you in the next video.